Hey everyone. Welcome back to another Radical Toys Night. Oh, I'll knock everything over before we even get started. So we had another night. We're going to be doing the Masters of the Universe Horde Trooper in the classic style. I'm trying to get as many of these classics as I can. I've had this guy in my collection for a little while. Um, was a, was a real nice figure. See who is in the chat though tonight. Oh, there it is. The TV screen gone. Is this is the camera straight or is it just me? It's crooked. Does the camera look crooked, guy? The camera itself. Oh well, let me fix that, guys. Give me one second. I didn't even notice. Sometimes you can't tell until you go live. I'll fix that. Let me know when it's straight. Is that it? Uh, I gotta wait till our phone catches it. I think that's it. Yeah, it looks strange, but I think I don't Hey, know. we see Jesse's in the house. Yeah, Ray's right. also in the house. Is that it? I, can't, I have to wait for it to catch up. What do you mean? On my screen, I have to wait for my screen to catch up, and it looks straight now. All right, good. We're good to go. We had a crooked start, guys, I guess. The camera was like, whoop. I didn't even notice. Anyway, we're here. We're going to be doing some classics tonight, guys. I just woke up like 30 minutes ago, so I'm still kind of waking up in my groove. I was like sound asleep on the couch while she was playing her games. Uh, okay, so let's see who's in the house. Oh, geez, we got 13 people watching already. Wow, this is going to be a hot night, is it? Hot night, Mama. Uh, we got Jonesers in the house. Good to see you, Joneser. Welcome in, buddy. Always a pleasure, my friend. I see you got your Cyclone. I saw the Instagram post. Looks fun. We got Duchess of Darkness is in the house. There she is. Welcome in. Duchess of Darkness has a merchandise shop now. Speaking of merchandise shop, we're going to talk about that in a couple of minutes. Uh, let's see. Radical Mum is in the house saying hello. We got David Williams. Radical Brother-in-law is in the house. We have Twins in the house. Hey, Ray, you're, you're home. That's awesome. You made it in. Uh, let's see. We got Jesse Greaves in the house. How cheap is this figure? Uh, we can take a look later. I've, I've had this guy in my collection for quite a long time. Um, he's actually loose inside the box. I always keep my boxes, right? Uh, we can check it out, though, to see how... I'm actually kind of curious how much this has gone up in price, but I'll t we'll talk about a little bit how much I actually paid for it. I didn't pay much for it, but it was quite a few years ago. Uh, we got Jeff is in the house. Uh, a Forest One, good to see you. Did y'all feel the earthquake? Apparently she felt the earthquake for me when I was waking up. Huh? Oh, nothing. <laughs> uh, let's see. Poor Trooper Classics, probably not cheap. Yeah, probably not. Uh, maybe we can look them up just to kind of see what Fleabay is charging now for them. I'm kind of curious myself, too. Now that you say it. Uh, let's see, Dander Barbarians in the house. Good to see you. Uh, everyone's saying hello to Toy Mama. We'll get, oh, Radical Sisters in the house. Good to see you. Yes. Always a pleasure. I got my Skittles ready to go. I'm usually my Smarties, but I'm eating Skittles this time. It's okay, Ray. She said she's going to miss a bit, so and she's heading the Nolans. Oh, okay. Just going to miss a bit again. I'm heading to Nolan's in a bit. Okay, well, no worries. We're going to be on for a little while, so you can drop back in. Uh, let's see. Joneser says, got your Cyclone, too. Awesome. Give me a cost, dude. Uh, you get me a, You let me know how much I owe you. Uh, let's see. Jesse Grieve. How cheap is the figure? We'll get to that. Uh, let's see. Jeff says, I just sold 10 Moto Classics Horde Troopers. I had so many. Oh, really? That's cool. Ocker's on the highway, low. 
Joking. Safe oh, difference. Jeff says yes. he has many more. He's still got plenty more. Yes, that's right, Bryce. Safety first. How did you? What, like, I know you have to do subscription base for these figures, but how did you manage to get extras? Or did you just, like, buy them? Or did you find, like, extras somewhere else? Or when you when you do sub sign up for subscription, you only get one, right? As far as I know. I'm just curious how you obtain so many. Uh, let's see, Ray Black. I'll cruise the highway. Safety is, oh, of course. Well, don't rush to, to get back on here. Make sure you get home safe first. Are the roads slick out there? It's been kind of rainy here today. We had a lot of snow the other day. It was surprisingly, yeah, yesterday, but we knew it wasn't going to last very long. So that's kind of fun. We knew that wasn't going to stick around. It was just, there wasn't very much snow. All right, cool. So here we are. We're going to be doing the horse troopers. I brought along some of the origins. So these are the origin horse troopers. Um, never did get around to getting a vintage one yet. Maybe we'll get a vintage one someday. I'll have to ask Mike if he's got a vintage one, a spare one. Uh, maybe he has an extra we can get sometime. Uh, let's see, the first time they made the horse troopers, it was a two-pack. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. They did make it in a two-pack, and then they re-released them in a single, because that's what I have. I forgot. That's right, too. Because, yeah, you could get, like, the battle damage stickers and stuff that you could stick on them. I forgot about that. Yeah, snow in April, isn't it bonkers? World's so upside down. It's crazy. It's not unusual. Yeah, it is kind of weird, huh? So, uh, it feels so quiet. Like, we need music or something. Like, I can hear my ears ringing. Is it just because I'm tired and I woke up? It's because you're tired and you woke up? Yeah, it's like, I'm just like, uh, what are we doing? So get ready, get ready for the stream, get ready for the stream. And then, then you hear a Super Mario sound, and <laughs> I'm not going to say any more. Super Mario snugs. Snug. Well, you guys figure that one out. Super Mario snugs my ass. And she starts, she's laughing, right? And I don't know what the hell she's talking about, because I'm half asleep trying to figure, figure out what she's laughing at. Mm. All right, so we're going to do the horchard. We'll move these guys aside. So this guy here, I actually did get this guy on Flea Bay, but I got him, I got him like... Geez, how long have I had this guy in my collection? Mm -hmm. Way before I met you. Mm -hmm. uh, I want I want to say I've had this guy short, like maybe a year before my maybe a year before my channel. So I had him for probably about five years in my collection, roughly. And I scored it for forty dollars Canadian, which would was like what thirty dollars USD. I got a real good buy on it. Guy up in Fredericton was selling some of his figures and I saw it and I jumped I jumped on it so fast and I was so happy that day because even even five years ago they were still a little pricey like you know they were starting to creep up but there was a few deals out there once in a while unlike today where it's rare what uh -huh. box is my doing <laughs> oh yeah sure go ahead you can go ahead and take them out yeah <laughs> I don't know if you're gonna need scissors or anything because he's just he's in his package. I don't think I taped it up. I don't know. But we just didn't really we didn't do them on the channel yet, so I figured why not? Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna need scissors. Uh, let me see. Where do they? Oh yeah, I did. I did. Oh, I see it. Did you see it? Because I don't see it. Yeah. You just have to be careful. Like I keep, I keep the packages. I'll go get some scissors. I don't need scissors. I didn't even uh, think about that. It's fine. I figured it out. Yeah, be careful. I don't need. Oh, you don't need them. Look at that. No. Yeah, I told you it was loose some card. Don't rip the box. No. Oh, come on. Why not? Just take them and pull them out. That's all you gotta do. I shouldn't even have to. Do I have that yeah. tape? Oh, I have that taped on too. Do I? Yeah, you do. His, his his box is in pretty rough shape. It's it's pretty rough shape. There we go. 
the I managed to have them in the box the way he originally was in there. I had to look it up online. Uh, we'll go through the accessories. He's a really good character in the classics. He's pretty cool. You know, if you like the horde, I like it. Uh, let me see. While she's opening up, we'll just start with some of these accessories. I am. What's the problem? Oh, nothing. I figured it out. All right, then. Okay, so uh, we're going to start with his traditional formation weapon, which is his little, I don't know what they call this thing, rod blaster, I don't, I don't know. It has like a, like a stun blaster or whatever that they shoot out of it. Most of the horde characters have it for, this, for the slaves, for, uh, you know, shooting at the rebellion and whatnot. So you'll, you'll commonly find this weapon in the filmation cartoon. <laughs> so they have that. It's a done in silver plastic. It's very stiff. Don't try to bend it or you will break it. Uh, that's that. He comes with uh, a black crossbow. So more based off the... Um, didn't the vintage one... Did the vintage one even have a crossbow, guys? Because I can't remember for the life of me. It's been a long time since I had the uh, vintage one, so I don't remember if he came with a black crossbow or not. I always thought it was a white one. Or is that Hordak? Yeah, that's Hordak. Maybe it was a black crossbow. I just can't remember. But this one obviously has its own design. It's got some yellow paint. Sanders said this is a boomstick, and to the question that you asked, he said no. What? No? Okay. I would have checked after. It's okay. I figured I'd answer it since I have it in front of me. Uh, we got some red paint apps going on. Yellow for the eye, kind of like the horde mask or their horde, their masks or whatever. So it's kind of got that nod to it. So a little bit of a, their own design with it, which is fine. You can you kind of see that in the classics line across across the board. All their horde weapons are different, unlike the originals and the origin ones. They're all the same, just different colors. And he does come with the staff. So I know this one should have came with the vintage one, I'm pretty sure, because the Origins one comes with it. And I remember to bring it this time. Uh, and it's got kind of like, you know, your your poor bat thingamajig, whatever kind of monster that's supposed to be. It's done in a red plastic. It's not very bendable. It's pretty stiff. It's got a little bend to it, but not very much. Lots of engravings on it, but no paint apps. It's just solid color. That looks, looks like the 72 volts. And I forgot to turn on the light. Check this out, guys. See, always forgetting this light. There we go. Is that really bright? Woo. Um, yeah, it's probably at 100%. Uh, hold on. Let me turn the brightness Unless down. Unless you dim it. Let me dim it. No, it's not dimmed. It already is dimmed. It's already at 50%. I'll put it down to 40. There we go. Now we got more light going on here. I was wondering why it felt so dark in the room. I always forget to turn the light on. Get this other one down here, too. There we go. Now we're cooking. Uh, to measure it up against the um, Origins one, since I have the Origins with me, you can kind of see it's kind of playing off the same idea, same design. Just one's brighter than the other, and obviously smaller to form fit the character. So, But I find this weapon... Uh, any of you guys that own this guy, does the weapon actually fit in his hand? Because mine, it always falls out of his hand. It, he doesn't like to hold on to it very much. And that goes for both my horde troopers that I have, that I bought. I meant to get a third one, and I wanted to get a black one, but I never got around to doing it. It goes in his hand, but if I play around with them, it'll fall out. But anyway, that's that. And uh, what are we at? Uh, anybody saying anything? Um, oh, I just cracked my knuckles. Thandar said uh, um, that the Vintage Trooper came with the red staff. He did? Okay. David says that looks like a 72 volts wagon radio on Hannah. <laughs> Your mother told you not to blind me. Oh, uh, yeah. Chef goes, well, don't look at the light. Chef goes, don't rip the box low. He said, Adam will tell you off. Your mother goes, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see. You wouldn't. No, no. Yeah, I do. 
I don't know. I've never had one of my boxes destroyed, so don't try okay. it. But I would never do that. So no. Mm. I do respect you, and I respect your things. It's weird to see snow in April after it already hit seventy-five degrees in February and March. I know it's kind of weird. Global warming, man. It's like global change. Oh, you should get that card off the table. What card? The one your sister sent us. What? What are you talking about? The Rogo card she sent us. Oh. Oh, I can show that. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. Where is it? Over there? Right down the table. All right, I'll go look at it in a minute. Don't rip the box, Christina. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what is that what I called it? A boomstick? Or who called it a boomstick? Dendar. Dendar Barbarian called it a boomstick? Yes. Is that actually what it's called? Her mom says, wait, you wait. Dave thinks it looks like a Volkswagen antenna? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the vintage trooper came with the red staff. Well, that's what I thought. I, fi I figured as much because the origin's based off the, the original, right? So I figured it did. I just don't have a vintage one. It's been years since I had one in my hands. Not since I was a kid. Wakey, wakey. I know. I got to wake up. All right, let's take a run down to him and kind of talk a little bit about his feature. He's, he's got an action. Grab the card picture. while you're up. That way you don't need to go back out there. Oh, okay. It's right there in the table. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll look at that. Uh, since I haven't seen it yet. No, you didn't. All righty. I wonder if I can... Dave says the silver one. Just the camera, just a little bit. Oh, we don't want to cut Christina's head off. Why not? Mm -hmm. We don't want to do that, do we? Can you pass mm -hmm. me the trooper? Well, let's take a look at this guy. Oh, he's a wonderful figure. Beautiful. So, yeah, I, I guess these guys are robots, right? They're robots. <laughs> He-Man can beat them up on screen. It's one of the few characters that you can see getting beat up or getting punched, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Because usually when in filmation, He-Man has to punch the screen, right? Because they're not allowed to show uh, physical violence, human, human to human contact, right? But the Horde Troopers, I think it gives you the excuse. I'm pretty sure that that's how it worked in the show. Uh, he's a pretty cool character, though. He's got um, the helmet's pretty nice. It, it's removable. I'll show you guys. You can pop it off. It's just like a dome underneath there. He's just a ball joint. You can kind of see the... It, it even has the sculpted gadgets, and they're painted, too. Even though you don't see them, uh, it's it's all painted. You can take this piece off if you really want it to. It's got like two ends here. I'll see if I can get it. There it is. You can take this off. And that's what he looks like underneath. So he's got the painted wires there on the top. That's kind of neat. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. But ironically, the origins are done in red. So you guys tell me, is the vintage one done with black underneath or red underneath? I think it's red because red is the button, right? So, because he does have an action feature. And I was going to show it, and you went ahead and did it anyway. Because it fell apart anyway, because you already opened it. I didn't touch it. When you were taking early, when we were putting them on the table, this Well, you ruined that surprise. For I didn't do it. It fell off, so I just went with it. Okay, then. <laughs> and Dan Dar says red. All right. Oh, man, this this guy's got a torso crunch, but it's very, it's very tight. I can't even... He's very, very, very stiff, and I've had this guy for five years, and he's still extremely stiff. That's one thing about these horror troopers, I find they're extremely stiff, and it's like he's brand new. Like, I just opened him because I can't move, move him around very well. He doesn't like to move too much. Um, so there's the helmet. You know, just, uh, he's kind of got some wash on it. They, he did come with some stickers. Um, I don't think they're in the no, box. They're I probably they're probably packed at home. He came with like a slab of um, damage stickers that you can stick wherever you want to put them. You can put them on the helmet, and things like that. I just I forgot all about them or I would have brought them. I just kind of forgot. I didn't stick them. I just wanted to keep the stickers. I didn't want to use them. 
uh, the chess piece been in a gray plastic just like you would expect it's got some black wash on it very faint but it's there Got the horde emblem there and it looks really good very detailed for classics and uh get the it's all done in red wow. it's really nice uh -huh. what the hell was that I it's on my cheek. oh my lord well, at least it wasn't super mario no no there's a lot <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> here we go. I'll put this back on. These are, are kind of hard to get on because they're soft, right? Here, that actually went on pretty good. Let's see if I can get the helmet back on as easy as I did with the chest piece. There it is. Didn't hear that satisfying pop, but it's on there. You can move it side to side. It looks pretty good. Move them down. You can kind of see, you know, all done in gray and black, basically. You can see the gadgets. Gadgets on his bum. His feet are done in black. Uh, if you want to put them side by side with a horde trooper, like an or this is your origins one. And what's funny about these ones, when they announced them, I thought it was really strange that they did them in like a metallic, marbleized plastic. Uh, but that's what they did these Origins ones in. So I found it very strange when they did that. Because it's quite the departure from just the flat matte silver. I mean, they look good. I, I got used to it. I just wasn't used to it at first. And then I kind of got used to the marbleized plastic. Uh, yeah, these the, the whole idea, the gimmick with these guys is the battle damage. You would punch them with the vintage toys. You push the button and it pops open. Oh, that one actually worked really good. Sometimes when you hit the button, it doesn't fall down, but that actually worked really well. I'm actually shocked. Let me try that again. Nope, see, it didn't work that time. Most of the times it doesn't work. There, it worked that time. Sweet. So that's cool. So yeah, it pops down. You got the red gadgets underneath on the Origins one. So I don't know why they went with black with the, with the Classics one. I'm not sure why they did that. Instead of going with the red. <laughs> All music So Jeff says he wants 20 more. Yeah, I know. Like, this is an army builder, right? Yeah, he's got this. I didn't notice they had the engravings on his butt, too. But, yeah. Um, Dandar says, not all troopers were robots. S uh, Sundar or Cole Blast, for example. Yeah, I, I know. I'm, I'm just, I just mean like your standard troopers, you know what I mean? Like just your standard armor builder guys, the originals. I know there's different characters and stuff that, um, who's the, the general guy or whatever his name is. There's a few of them out there that are robots, but just these general fellas. It's your standard trooper. Yeah, they're pretty cool though. I mean, you can you can you can own so many of these because they're an army builder. And what you, the cool thing about it is you can pop these off too, right? And I don't have one here, and I wish I would have brought it. But you can pop like He Man's head on there if you want to, or you can pop on whoever you want. And I think you can do the same with the classics, if I'm not mistaken. So you can swap the parts out. So that they don't all have to be horror troopers. You can, you know. You can turn them into whoever you want, pretty much. So they're, they're kind of neat that way. But that is your Horde Trooper. I think I forgot to show the shield, though, because he also comes with the shield. Did I forget this? I think I did. I think you did. Yeah, he comes with the shield. And uh, if you guys remember when we were doing the... Um, who were we doing for Classic Cyclone, right? Yes. Remember I was talking about yesterday or Wednesday, not yesterday, Wednesday, uh, how they have these clips and they can get stress marks on them well this one got stress marks on it and you can i don't know if you can see it on camera but it's got the stress marks in there and that's why i don't like these clips you can see it uh, i really don't <laughs> like these clips at all i wish they would have came with like more of the origin style type of clip these ones I don't like, but anyway, he comes with the shield. It's the bat shield. I think it's just an, I don't think the vintage one came with this. I think this was just an added one that they threw in with I it. So. Just a bonus or something, I think. I don't recall the vintage one having that one. 
And then uh, he can't carry everything, right? So he's got three weapons to choose from. So you got to pick which weapon you like. Uh, for me, I kind of like the either the Filmation Probe Rob, Rod, the Probing Rod, or the um, the Crossbow. That's kind of what I like. But if you want to go with the the classic look, you can do this. Just the staff too. They all work. Though he doesn't like to hold on to this rod very well. I don't like to hold it, but there you go, guys. There's your horde trooper. Horde trooper. We're gonna check we're gonna check out the flea bay too. Oh, I, I'm, just, I'm just curious what this guy goes for nowadays, because I don't even know. I like I said, I got it for 40 bucks sealed in its package. I thought I did pretty damn good for a price, uh, considering. Considering what the cost of these things go for nowadays, it's, it's pretty wild. Hello? It's all right. <laughs> I always meant to get more of them because we had we had them. We actually got the I got these two guys at our Walmart. This was before Walmart decided that they weren't going to sell Masters of the Universe anymore. So I managed to score two of them. I almost got a third. For some reason, I passed on a third one, and I don't, I don't remember why. But I never seen them again. Uh, I only seen them the one time. Uh, let's see what everyone's saying. Oh, before I forget, hit the like, hit the subscribe. And Super Chats, trying to go for $25 tonight. That's the goal. we got to set goals now. We're trying to get uh, some... A little bit of income to go towards product, or not really product, but equipment upgrades. Equipment upgrades are always first. Um, so yeah, if you guys are interested in that, go for it. Uh, let's see, we've got, uh, oh, JD Hobbies is in the house. Good to see you. Mike B. Uh, I only have one. I can't do army builds. Uh, General Sunder, that's who I'm thinking of. Thank you. General Sunder is who I was thinking of. I think he has like the red cape with the, he's kind of got the whole, oh, uh, what's the, the Roman helmet thing going on. Ah, uh, you want 20 more? You got enough? Yeah, or, or these ones are the Origins ones, the ones on the left and the right. They're, they're smaller. They're, they're not in scale. They're smaller. These are like the six inch or five and a half at six inch if you stand them up straight. And then these ones are more seven inch. The bulkier, more, a little more detail. But these ones got the action features. So I like these ones a little more because I, I do like the action features. I'm a sucker for that stuff. Uh, let's see. All Horde has the crossbow, do they? So the vintage one came with the crossbow. These ones didn't come with the crossbow, did they? Uh -huh. Oh my god, I have to look that up. I, I can't remember. I don't remember if those guys came with the crossbow or not. I don't think they did. Let me look this up really quick. It's not showing that they did. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a white crossbow. They did come with it then. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Man, I, I totally forgot about that. Yeah, the crossbow is in behind them in the package. I forgot about that. I totally forgot. I thought they just came with this weapon. How did I forget that? Uh, I just must be getting old, man. I don't know. Well, I can't remember everything, unfortunately. This is what it is. Let me just go back here. Get back into the chat. There we go. Yeah. Mike knows. There you go. I think they are under $100. Probably USD if you're talking about the classics. Over here in Canada, not so much. They'll definitely be over 100 bucks. I'll figure it out, though. Okay, Ray, sounds good. Uh, all right, oh, well, I was listening while I was getting my stuff ready. I'm heading out now, so I'll catch you later. Okay, sounds good. 40 years ago, easy to forget. 
<laughs> yeah, no, I, I mean these Origins ones, though. I didn't realize these ones they even came with a crossbow, because I swear up and down that they didn't, and apparently they did, because it's in the package on uh, whatever. I would have brought the crossbows. But it shows white inside the package, so it was right. Four years, no wonder he forgot. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't remember everything. You get so many of these freaking figures and so many of these toys. Like, I got so much Masters of the Universe now, it's unbelievable. Like, tons of it. Oh, excuse me. And I'm like, um, who was it that said they don't army build? And I, I can't really army build either. This was just like a small exception that I got a couple extras. I don't really army build at either. I just happened to get lucky to get an extra one because I had the extra money at the time. So I bought another one. And I just really wanted a, a second core trooper. I wanted a third one. I wanted to get the black one, but I never got around to getting one. If anybody knows a black horde trooper? Kicking around an extra one. Yeah, <laughs> you got it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, let's just show. I want to check out this uh, radical sister chick uh, sent us this Easter card. So we're gonna take a look at it, and it's got her favorite character on it. Of course, is that devil that I can't stand with the pointy oh, friggin' he's ears. on the chest of <laughs> it's Grogu on the friggin' Easter card, so it's his galactic Easter greetings on the card. And it says, oh, it's kind of neat, though. It's a really nice card. It's got lots of Grogu. It even has one of the eggs as the Mandalorian's helmet. I'll, I'll be keeping that card. That's really cool. And Boba Fett. I think that's who that's supposed to be. Uh, it says, hope your day is out of this world. Have a wonderful Easter. When I saw this and I thought of you, Christina, miss you guys, see you in the summer. Keep up the good work on the stream. Uh, well, thank you. Dave May the force be with you. <laughs> and David must have wrote that. <laughs> May the force be with you. <laughs> it feels like the card opens, but it actually doesn't. Don't you, don't you rip my card. It just, yeah, it doesn't, but it feels like it does because it has like an extra layer to it. I almost ripped it. And that's that's a nice card. That was cool. Thanks. Awesome. That's a card that'll never go anywhere except I'll it keep, is. I'll keep that. That is a cool card. She'll keep that. Like she'll treasure that. Absolutely. Anything Star Wars, it doesn't. It could be a Star Wars pencil. And she'll freaking treasure it. Well, like I'm so jealous to my brother, my son-in-law. My son-in-law has the R2D2 that stands up about this high, and apparently it's to hold a drink in your popcorn. Hmm. And then to top it off, he has. Dark Vader's, it's a toaster, and it's Dark Vader's head. Yeah. I am I told him I'm so jealous. <laughs> uh, Jeff says that four-pack was irritating to get. Are you were talking about the one with the red and the black war troopers? I didn't even freaking try. <laughs> I didn't even bother. I knew I wasn't getting it, so I was like, I ain't going to fight for that. Like, I'll just wait. Before, I'll wait for the silver ones to come out. And then they end up coming up with the um, the snake troopers. That's the one I'm talking about with the black outfit, the, the, the snake outfit, the snake men. I wanted to get one of those, but I never got around to it. Mm -hmm. Now I don't even think I can find one. So May the four, uh, May fourth is is Star Wars Day. There you go. Yep. Yay. Star Wars Day. Just oh. around the corner, darling. What are we gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna have to do something Star Wars. Huh? Well, I don't know. I have to get something on the next day. Yeah, we have to pick something out. So I hope you like the card. Thanks for sharing. Oh, you're welcome. Mattel, let's make all the snake men available and only give fans five minutes to get the horde. <laughs> Dude, so freaking true, man. All kinds of snake men. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think if there was any of the Snake Men characters that were actually hard to get. Most of them were pretty easy. <laughs> I don't know. Dandor says the toaster which burns the Vandar face in the burn. And that's what it is. The what? There. Burns the Vader's face in the burn. So that's what that's what the toaster does. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the toaster, it's Darth Vader, but it... Yeah, it burns the toast, right? My mom says a day before her birthday because her birthday's the fifth. 
people, people's inventions, they, you know, people come up with the ideas, hey, let's make a Star Wars toaster. He's got a burnt face on okay, his Okay, Mike. That's <laughs> not for that. Mike says, I have every Star Wars figure made from the 70s and 80s. I'm like, okay, Mike, that's enough of that. 70s and 80s. Crazy, eh? I feel a little jealousy happening there. <laughs> kids would, kids probably would have went nuts over that stuff, like, early, like, late 70s, early 80s, yeah. Those, remember, because the vintage line, the counter line was more based, like, the idea was to sell the vehicles back then. Mm -hmm. That's why they made the little freaking figures. But the vehicles were, like, huge. I remember going to my friends and they'd have like the Millennium Falcon and you know when you're 10 years old and you got something like that or the ATSD, you have an Imperial Walker, the Drake Huge. It's like, what the heck is this, man? Now let's play with this. Yeah, mom, it is. Yes, that's right. Your birthday is a month today, radical mom. Um, oh, good, good. Birthdays are coming. Uh, mom, Your birthday is mom, on the mom, coming. Yeah, mom's, mine, well, mine's not hard to remember. Mine's Victoria Day, the 20th. Yeah, yours is just around the corner, well, the end of the summer. Yeah, well, mom's first, and... Uh, we're going to get a, we get to go, we're going to pick up a barbecue tomorrow, so that's going to be fun. Mm. Radical Toys barbecues in the summer. That's what this boy does all summer long. And thanks to Radical Brother. Yeah, he's gonna he's getting us a barbecue, so it's gonna be really really fun, really awesome. Mom forgot she, she forgot that my birthday was May too. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, so let, let me just go on eBay for a sec, guys. I want to I want to know how much these classic horde troopers cost. I wouldn't mind checking out eBay for a minute anyway, just to kind of see what's what's what. See if there's any deals or sales on these figurines. Uh, there's usually not too many on Flea Bay, but we can check it out. So what do we get? Masters of the Universe. Masters of the Universe. Classics. I gotta stay within Canada because anything on the state side would just kill me in shipping. Uh, and, and exchange rate. And duty fees. Dare I say more? No. <laughs> uh, let's see. Canada only. I love it. Like, if you're in Canada, right, and you go on eBay, it always defaults to the United States. Like, it wants you to buy from the States. It wants you to spend more money. Wow. <sighs> like, even when if I go in, uh, like, eBay.ca and you go into it, .com stuff shows automatically. I got to go through the filters and put in like five different filters to get what I'm looking for. Mike goes, um, Mary, it's ridiculous. Mary, I, I mean, I have everything low ever made. It's expensive. I tell you. Oh yeah. He says, I have a video on it. Even the blue snag also, he's very expensive. Jeff said, I got all those single horde troopers for classics for $20 each when they came out. Let me just type in Horde Trooper. I don't even know if there is any in Canada. That's if there's any in Canada. Um, okay, here we go, guys. And I'm going to show you how much he costs. This is the lowest price in Canada on eBay. Here you go. All right, so here he is. This is the exact same one I have. If I scroll up. Here's your price. $90 plus $30 in shipping. Oh, so that's $120 God. to get this guy in your hands. Dendar said it's $179 where he lives. Really? Hundred and or $120, bucks, guys. You get the classic sword trooper. And I got him for $40 about five years ago. Radical Sister says crack out the brown sugar barbecue sauce for the barbecue ad. Uh, I like the brown sugar, but I actually like the... I actually prefer the regular, like you just, do. I like the regular barbecue sauce. She said I bought Stan. In the craft. I bought Stan an entire box, remember that? Yeah. And I like, uh, yeah, and I like the uh, Diana sauce. I like the regular mm -hmm. Diana barbecue sauce. It's probably one of my favorites. And your mom knows me well enough already. She says. The brown sugar's pretty good, though. Christina's going to say, Mike, stop it, LOL. <laughs> Radical yeah. sister says, "Show Christine who the master chef is on the barbecue." Ha ha. Mom says he's a good cook. Leech, one hundred and fifty. 
plus 30 in shipping. Woo! There's the double pack that um, you guys are talking about. So here's the double pack of four troopers. Your sister says, add yours is the smoky, smoky Ranch Spice. Yeah. There's the double pack. I forgot about that. And uh, what are they asking for that? $219. And I guess free shipping. I don't know. Doesn't say shipping cost there, but anyway. 220, that's, that's uh, 110 a figure. But the funny part is, when the barbecue comes, I'm not going to argue. That means he's going to cook and I won't. Oh, cook. yeah. Barbecue. So I won't argue. Barbecue. All right. Oh, and thank you, Radical Sister. She said that the other purple looks good on me. You can get a loose one without the weapons and accessories for 50 bucks. Or best offer, it says. You can make them an offer. They'll probably go down a dollar. There you go. Oh, there's the vintage one. Is that the that's the vintage horde trooper? Jeff said when that horde trooper two pack came in, it was forty dollars. Is that what it costs? That's what he said. Yeah. Forty USD, so that's probably about sixty Canadian. That's that's, that's that's actually pretty damn good. But yeah, subscription, right? You had to subscribe to it to get it or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Now prices go up. Hundred hundred and uh. Wait, ninety dollars plus ninety four ninety five dollars about a hundred and ten to get the vintage one complete with the weapon. I don't even think it's complete because it doesn't show the crossbow. Uh, Mike says, Adam, I need to get with you about a banner for my channel. Oh, Mike P? Yes. Sure, man. Just hit me up on Instagram. That's the best place to get them. Um Ouch, my leg. Radical Toys 79 is my Instagram. Actually, I might even, I don't know if I can copy uh, it here. I'll here, throw it in the I'll chat. I'll get it. I'll get it. Can you get it? Yeah, I'll get it. I have a hard time getting anything on this phone. It's, I will get it. This, this phone's a dinosaur. In today's standards, it's not very fast. I don't even know if I have my Instagram on this. Oh, thank you. Dear. Probably not. I might. I don't remember. I probably do. It's just a pain in the ears. Yeah, if you, you need something made, just hit, hit me up on Instagram, man. Hit me up. I'm easy to work with. Maybe we can just work something something really out. You know? That's Instagram. Yes, that's true, Jay. You said everything's pricey now. Because most, most, well, most of the banners and logo designs I do now are usually for um, Patreon people, but... I'm, I'm easy to work with, you ask Jones or anyone else. Pretty, very simple. Uh, I did Mike. Actually, I'm gonna show, I think I'll show. Did you guys ever see the one I did for Mike? Uh, Manning Plastic. You wanna, Mike, that, it's the favorite. It's my favorite one I've ever done. I did Tasty Cakes, too. I think I showed you guys that one. Um, I, did a, I did a couple unused ones, too. I'll show you guys. I did one of the Baroness. Just like some sample ones that I did. This is one that I did of the Baroness. So I like to do this very particular cartoon style. So there's one of the Baroness and it's unused. It's actually up for grabs for anybody that wants to use it, the, the G.I. Joe fan. So there's that one. Um, there's one I did of Eternian Ellipse. So our boy Sir Clifton, I did his. He did mine too. I did that one. Um, I do different ones. I did Allison's. I also did, this is Allison's, the ones that she used, Retro Toy Princess. So I drew, um, I created, uh, who is it? Uh, oh, I'm having a brain freeze who the character is. You guys know who it is. Um, Velma? Velma. No, it's Masters of the Universe. I'm it's sorry. Princess of Power. I'll be right in a minute. I'm thinking totally the wrong way. Um, what's her name? I keep wanting to say Spinnerella, but it's not Spinnerella. <laughs> Cast a Spella. That's who it is. Cast a Spella. That's Mom who that says is. you did Bill's too, didn't you? Uh, I redid Bill's intro. I didn't do the original design. I just kind of redid it for him in the intro in, in his intro. So his wasn't like my creation, so Cast to speak. Cast a Spella. 
Don, Dan Dare just said it too. Cast a spell. I do different ones. There's Toy Mamas. Yeah, I did that one. Star Wars, Ahsoka. Ahsoka. I did the, um, this is my favorite one. This one's Mike. And he actually, he actually uses this. It doesn't have the green in the background, like the green swirl, like his, like it does now because I updated it. But that was like my favorite design. I turned him into Stratos. It's a nice design. Um, yeah. And then I did one for my nephew too. You guys, ne I never showed you guys the one that I did for my nephew. So kind of, he's into plumbing, so I turned him into a tar cartoon character. You yeah, also did Wookies. Yeah, I did Wookie Sasquatch. Sasquatch. A lot of the toy guys that you see on YouTube, I, I've done them. I've done Cobweb Collectors. I've done, man, I've done so many of them. I lost track. <laughs> I've lost track of the logo designs that I've created. I do a lot. There's the updated one for Mike with the swirl in the background that I gave him. It was kind of cool. Big fan of like. Uh, so Mike said, uh, "Well, to you and ideal, I love the horde." Um, oh, you like the horde? Oh, I can easily come up with something. Who's your favorite character? Is the question. There's Wookie Sasquatches. I drew the um, the Wookie uh, Chewbacca and just you know Wookie Sasquatch. I kind of get inspired by. Um, uh, do you guys know that movie, um, Crocodile Dundee, where he's pulling back on the city? Well, I did the same thing, except for I did it in grass, where the Wookiee's pulling back the grass. I get inspired by different stuff. Radical Sister said that, uh, that's my son, the plumber. Thanks, Ad. He loved it. It's awesome. Yeah. I do a lot of drawings. It's not just logo designs and stuff I do, too. I do other drawings and stuff. I just don't have any. If you guys remind me on Wednesday, I'll show you some more drawings that I do. I do a lot. Some There's some of the logo designs that I have that uh, that I've done. I've done so many of them, I, I just lose track. But, yeah, I'm easy to get along with, man. What I did with Mike is Mike really wanted one. And... He's a Patreon member now, but before he became Patreon, he uh, we worked out a little deal where he just sent me out. I was looking for because he asked me if I needed any Masters of the Universe figures, and I was like, I was like, yeah. I was like, I didn't have a Roton at the time, so he sent me out a, an Origins Roton, and I drew him the logo design, and we called it even. Mike's is Hordak. Who's favorite? Oh, you like Hordak? Oh, I can easily do something with Hordak. That's not a problem. Thank you, Radical Sister. I usually recommend me turning turning somebody into a cartoon character, but I can just do a specific character in my own style if you want to, if you'd rather something like that. Completely up to you. Yeah, I'm easy to get along with, man. Anyway, that's what that's what Mike did because I considered that as a, I consider that as a payment. He just sent me the Roton, and I was like, okay, we did a deal that way. Because I mean, I was giving out some freebies once once in a while. I'll give out freebies, but it's a lot of work to do those designs now, and I got to start getting compensated for my work. So yeah, I'm easy to get along with, though. I don't charge big top dollars or anything like that. And Dan Dark said it's a wonderful thing to do to draw. It is. It's a lot of fun. It's it's. Uh, but the one thing with it's a stress reliever for me for the most part. It's, um, Thank it's you, Radical reliever. Mom. Oh, let's look at. Uh, let me get back in the chat. Hold on, guys. But the one thing though, I will sit here and say is he doesn't give himself enough credit. Did you put the uh, link in there? The for what? The inst my Instagram. I did. Okay, thank you. I was already ahead of you. So yeah, just hit me up on there. Add me on Instagram and send me a message. I live on Instagram. Hey, John. Thank you so so much for dropping in. I'm on Instagram all the time. Yep. Uh, where are we at here? Let me just get back to my channel here. Uh, where are we at here? Blah, 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 blah. 
There you go. Okay. Yeah. So just hit me up, Mike. Just hit me up. I can definitely do you something. No problem. I enjoy drawing. I love drawing like cartoon logos and stuff. That's fun. Cast a spell. There you are, Dar Dar. Dan Dar. You got it. Cast a spell. Or Catherine Helpern. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, I need to be turned into a cartoon. <laughs> I'm, I'm a Horde fan too, though. Like the, the the Horde is my favorite faction in Masters of the Universe, even though they always lose. <laughs> I love them. I can't help but love like the characters, Shadow Weaver. Uh, I do like Scorpia, even though she's very manly. Uh, she's kind of a cool character. I like the oddball characters from the Horde. They're cool. I always like the Horde faction. Uh, let's see. That's my son, the plumber. <laughs> Thanks, Ed. Yeah, I guess guess Radical Sister took the logo design that I did, and she got a calendar made. So I did a bunch of different colors of it, and then she just did, like, a calendar. So that was kind of neat. Kind of a neat idea for him. Oh, what right, uh, that? That? 1399 Super Radical Chat. Radical Sister. Radical Sister, 1399 Super Chat. Thank you so much. So we $14 and, oh, Radical Mom, $10 Super so Chat. So we are $1.99 away from your, your gold. $25. Is it? Yes, we are. $1. Anybody want a Super Chat for $1? <laughs> that'll, that'll hit our goal tonight. Uh, let's see. Jane Dar Barbarian says it's a wonderful thing to do to draw. Yeah, it really is. It's a lot of fun. John from Bigly Speaking, thank you for dropping in, buddy. It's good to see you. How you been? Uh, JD Hobby says, I need to be turned into a cartoon. <laughs> well, Jay, send me a picture of your face. Um, Jay 80 Hobbies is one of the biggest supporters on this channel, so I got his back anytime he needs something. Oh, so, yay. Jay, just send me a picture of your face. If you want If you want yourself done in a cartoon or you and your wife, whatever you want, just send me a picture of your face. I'll go to town. Nice clear picture of you smiling or whatever you want to do. Just send it to me through. Send it. Send it to my email, and I'll, I'll get. I got you covered. I'll do you something fun. Uh, let's see. Figuratively speaking, hello, all music and radical mom, Adam and Christina. So everyone's saying hello. Good. Yes, we are, Dave. Thank you. Thank you, John. Don't know who she is, Catherine. <laughs> Uh, all music fan eighty eight for Masterverse. There were um, there were picture teases of Adora. Yes, we we covered that yesterday, right? Or Wednesday? Wednesday. Was it Wednesday or yesterday? Yesterday. I don't know. One of those days. What did we do? What was the last live I did? Wednesday. Are you sure? I thought I did another live yesterday. I don't even remember. You I did, can't. You did I one can't remember. yesterday. You did one yesterday for GI Joe. Um, oh, right. Yes, that's right. The G.I. Joe Ferret. The Cobra Ferret. That's right. Yeah. So when we did the Cobra Ferret, I did cover the Adore or the Leech's package. So if you haven't watched it, just look for the uh, look for the Cobra Ferret <laughs> live stream that I did yesterday and just kind of sc scroll down to the end. You'll see the I covered the Leech stuff because I think it was Jeff that mentioned. Uh, I think it was Jeff that mentioned it. Uh, let me see. What do uh, we got? Uh, Dan Dar Barbarian says, favorite horde character, Mantena. Yeah, he's cool. Mantena's pretty badass. I like him. He's, um, he's kind of like a comic relief character for Masters of the Universe, at least in the Filmation days. I don't think he was meant to be that way, though, because when you look like some of his designs and stuff, he looks creepy. But they ended up making him to be like a comic relief, goofy type of character. Mike says Grizzlor is his. Oh, Grizzlor is awesome. Yeah, he, I, Grizzlor is probably, he's probably my favorite Ford, Ford character too. Besides Force Adora Captain. Because I, uh, I do like when Adora was uh, the, um, the Force Captain. I loved it. So I think she's probably my favorite. Before she becomes She-Ra. Uh, let me see. Oh, uh, David Williams, Super Chat 1399. Ooh, man. Radical Brother-in-Law. 
<laughs> Radical Bad Brother Month, fourteen dollars, and figuratively speaking, two dollars. Super. So that is a total of forty-nine dollars. Thirty-nine. Oh wow, we've we've, we've uh, exceeded our. We've exceeded. You exceeded. Thank, thank you, you guys thank you so much. So much. Uh, that money will indeed go towards the PC because uh, the PC is uh, it's we're we're over the half of the cost. I'm just about. Four hundred dollars to go toward that I need to go towards the PC upgrade. Uh, so thank you so much for that. Really appreciate it, guys. David says his is Cobra. Yeah, we're over now. Thank you, Dave. That's awesome, man. I really appreciate it. Yeah, last night. Yeah, I totally forget. Like I knew I did a live, and I know I did like a game stream, <laughs> which we that's which, which I screwed up the audio on it, and then and me and Mike figured it out. Oh, that reminds me. I know, like. I know there's not like a lot of you are might not be gamers in the in the chat, but I'm gonna be doing a um, I'm gonna be doing a Masters of the Universe video game live stream probably maybe I'll do it Sunday. Nothing going on Sunday. No, I'll maybe I'll do it Sunday. Usually you go home Sunday. Uh, I don't know if you guys ever played it, but it's the one that's based off. It was it was a fan made game and it was based off the filmation. So you can be like Shira, He Man, uh, who's it? Skeletor, Panthor, Battle Cat got all these cool characters that you can pick as and you're fighting against the horde and i'm gonna live stream it probably i'll probably do it sunday so keep an eye out for it if you guys just want to hang out and chit chat while we do it it'd be fun radical sister says three nights in a row boys yeah well i'm gonna start doing i'm gonna try to start doing more live streams and i'm still gonna like the plan is uh, i'm still gonna do unboxing but the unboxing might be a little bit less. Like, we're still going to try to keep the Friday nights as much as we possibly can, as long as we have product to talk about. Uh, but Wednesdays, I might have to cut it down a little bit. I might have to. Uh, I've got some financial stuff going on, so I might have to cut it back some. But not right now. It's going to be a little bit in the future. But I'll compensate and go live more. So either way, it, it'll all work out. So I just want to kind of throw that at you guys. I'm trying to do as many unboxing videos as I can because I do enjoy doing them, but I might have to cut back a little bit, but I'll just go live. It'll all work out. Adam, Adam, it's a hit trick three nights in a row. Radical sister says your sister speaks your language. Haha. <laughs> it's a, a hit, hit hat trick three nights in a row. <laughs> your sister speaks your language. There you go. Uh, Force Captain or Despara? Uh, Force Captain. Not, I, I don't mind Despara. I like the outfit of Despara, but I don't like when she takes the helmet off. I don't like it. Uh, she's got that crew cut, and I don't like it. <laughs> no, no, sir. I like it when she was in the, you know, the Adora's Leotard with the Leotard, <laughs> the one piece Leotard, I call it. Leotard? And in the and she's got the the belt that hangs off her hip, the gun, the gun holster. That's what I like. You can get it in the classics when you buy the classics. I mean, it's leotard. Not, leotard. not leotard. Leotard. It's leotard. Yeah, I call it leotard. It's a leotard. It's okay, honey. It really is. <laughs> As in, this is leotarded. This is great. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Yeah, anything filming. When it comes to she like I'm fussy with when it comes to filmation, but when it comes to She-Ra or Princess of Power, then yeah, I really like the sh I like the I like the filmation style for She-Ra. I prefer it. Obviously, I mean, what's the other thing we're gonna like? The toy version, which are were dolls back in the eighties. Right. Not really my cup of tea, but they they are cool. Like the, those dolls are kind of cool. I know there are factors <laughs> for them, but. Mike says, wow, that sounds like a great... Granny game. Pants, exactly. The Leotard, the one PC. I it's, love it. It's Leotard, not Leotard. I love it. And she's uh, she's done in red. For those who are, like, most of us know who uh, Adora is, like She-Ra, but some people might not know exactly the outfit that I'm talking about, so I'm going to get a picture and show Hi, you. Hi, Chris Kenny. Thank you so much for dropping in. Guys, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you're not already surprised. Sub oh, not already subscribed. There's literally only one difference between the Force Captain and the just regular door, and that is the gun that hangs on her hip. That's literally the only difference. 
He said, sweet trooper guys, love the horror troopers. Chris Kennedy just came in. I'll even show Despire so everybody knows what we're talking about here because some people might not know in the chat. They're like, cool, who the heck is Adora, right? Can't it? Okay, so this is this is Adora, not the horse captain, but you know, Sam, if there's only one single difference. So this is what she looks like from the filmation. So this is the, the look that I'm referring to. So that's her. The only difference is there's like a black belt gun that goes on her hip when she's the force captain. And that's her. That's my favorite. So love it. And uh, Despara. Let's see if we can bring up Despara. Uh, <laughs> I like the outfit when she has the helmet on. I just don't like it when she takes it off. So there's like the classics version of it. She's got the helmet on, so it does look pretty cool. And let me see if I can find it without the helmet so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Well, most of you will know. And there it is without the freaking helmet. Hold on, I'm just going to blow it up. There it is without the helmet. Not digging that at all. <laughs> I don't like it. Anyway, that's what we're talking about. Pretty cool figure, though, I've I got to say. All music. In classics, they have Adora, Granny Pants. <laughs> So I hope they don't do that with the Masterverse and the Origins well. Oh, hold on. Just let me get back to the chat. I just got to. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, you know, some people like it, some people don't. I love the, the Dora One Piece thing. I, I love it. Um, come on, YouTube. Where are you? There we go. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, let me see. Where do I, where did I leave off here? You're welcome. Okay. The super chats. Man, we have a lot of freaking super chats. That was really nice. Uh, you're down to Jeff where it says in classics. That's where you're. Uh, Jeff says that's an awesome game. Never played it, but crap, but the graphics are amazing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's like a side scroller beat em up. And you can pick all kinds of different masters of the universe characters. And it has all the filmation music and, noises in it it's it's pretty cool it's a really cool i'm surprised it didn't get shut down like it was it's a really cool game uh and classics they gave adora granny pants that's right they did uh they they should have did it so that uh they did the same thing with um what's her name angela with the wings but they what they did with angela is they they glued it at the bottom so that it doesn't look like that. But with Adora, they didn't do it. They, they didn't fix it with her because I think she was the original one with that outfit. And yeah, it makes it look like she's got the granny pants on. Granny panties. Uh, Chris Kenny, thank you for dropping in. Uh, let's see. Sweet troopers, guys. Love the horror troopers. Yeah, I know. You gotta love the horror. They're, they're great. You can never have enough of these guys. They're so cool. Thank you, but hey, Belle. I love the old comic drawings, the mini comics, that is. Yeah, me too. I do love the style, too. That is a lot of fun. They're fun. Everyone has, like, their own, like, drawing style. I like the... The easiest way that I could explain it the way I like to draw when I turn people into cartoons is I like the whole Johnny Bravo. If you guys remember that cartoon from the 90s, I think it was a Hanna-Barbera cartoon. I love that style. That's my style that I like to draw people in or something very oh, similar to it. I'm so sorry to hear that, Bill. He's at his, uh, he's at his niece's and he's, had his, he's attending a funeral. Like this. Okay, okay. Oh. So that uh, let's see, can't can't stay on. Yeah, I, I understand, Bill. And uh, sorry for the loss there, buddy. I heard about it. Mike was talking to me about Just it. Just thank you for stopping by. Thanks Richard. for dropping in. No, you 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 take care of what you need to take care, of, buddy. And hopefully everything goes okay. I know 
funerals are never fun. They're they're not fun at all. God bless, man. Um. Okay, hon. Is anyone be streaming this weekend? Okay, so you're not you're not gonna be streaming. Okay, that that's fine. No worries. I got you covered, man. I'll I'll probably be streaming Sunday, so we're all good. I'll make sure I mention you on my Sunday stream. Uh, let's see. Jeff says I have the Despira figure, nice figure. It is. I I was looking at it different times because I do like it with the helmet. I do like the design, uh, especially like the way it looks in the comic book. It looks pretty pretty neat. Uh, do I have a drawing of her? I have a drawing of Shira. I did a drawing of Shira. I don't know if I drew a door or not. I don't remember. I can't Night, remember. Bill. Take care. Uh, Death Spiral without the helmet looks like Gu uh, Guile from Street Fighter. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> Touche. Yeah, I, I knew what you mean, John. I knew you meant Despara. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay, Bill, you're at your niece's house. That's nice, then. At least your family's together, so that's good. Uh, let's see. Jeff says, yes, they did fix it late in the line. Glad Queen Angela was made correct. Yeah, me too. Because... I think they got a lot of backlash with it with Adora when they made Adora in the classics line. They made the leotard. It looked like crap, and they fixed it with Angela because I do have the Angela action figure, and it's it, it is fixed. It looks really nice. Wonderful figure. Uh, let's see. Alec Alice and Tim's mini comics are the best. Absolutely. Uh, let's see. Glimmer had the granny pants too. Killed me. Oh, because <laughs> that, that's right too, because I do have Glimmer. I, I have Glimmer, and that's right. They didn't fix hers. They didn't get to fixing hers yet. So if you, if you wanted to fix, you had to kind of do it yourself sort of thing. You kind of had to customize it, but yeah, that's right too. I forgot about that, because I do have Angela, and I've got Glimmer. Uh, I've only got a couple Princess of Power characters. Ah, Hello, Sir Clifton. There's Sir Clifton. There's he turning your lips. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys what we're talking about. And you guys might be wondering, like, what we're talking about. I'll show you the, the toy. Uh, Masters Universe Classics. Adora. So I, think, I think it started with Adora, did it not? I could be wrong. Here's a good photo of it here. You can kind of see it. And there's the, the, the gun holster that makes her into Force Captain Adora with the gun. But here, you can kind of see what the, the bottom part is supposed to be folded under. So it looks like a one piece, but they ended up doing it that way. And it screwed up the toy and it makes it look weird. So that's kind of what we're referring to. Still a cool figure, though. I would still like to have it, you know what I mean? Like, it's still pretty cool. <laughs> Dan Dar says, you know, all pop girls have granny pants. What's that? Dan Dar says, nearly all pop girls had granny pants. Did they really? That's what he just said. Yes. Probably. I never, you know, out of all the things in the 80s, because I love everything 80s, but the one thing I didn't like from the 1980s is the clothing. I, I can honestly say I did not like the clothes from the 80s. Uh, acid wash jeans, acid wash jackets, uh, women with friggin' poopy 80s hair that goes out to there. Though I give, what's her name? Um... Oh, my Lord. What's her name? Uh, John says, I don't know. I was living under a rock at the time. Classics came out. I missed it all together. I gave, um, um, 
Mom says I never call there the There she is. Pants. I give, I give uh, the only person that I like that has the big poofy hair that I give a, a pass for. And you guys, well, Loretta knows who she is, but Taylor Dane. Her hair in the 80s was the best. I loved her hair. And, um, yeah, but anyone else on, like, the 80s hair was just awful. <laughs> Which happens to be like my favorite song of all time, like uh, Tell It To My Heart by Taylor Taylor Dane. If you watch that music video, you know exactly what I'm talking about with her hair. Hey Steve, thank you so much for dropping in. Okay Jay, thank you so much for dropping in, hun. There she is, check it. Taylor Dane with a big freaking 80s poofy hair. You guys can see it. Lorena met her. Yeah, you guys got to meet her. I'm jealous. Like I love that freaking song. Like I could I could watch I could listen to that song every day. Chasing. There's yeah, there's another one. Big poofy hair on her. She doesn't look like that now. She looks completely, uh, <laughs> Steve, no more 80s hair here in New York. The guys had more hair than the girls. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it was like. Maybe Loretta can explain it to me. What was it with the early eighties women with the big broad shoulders? Like that, they, they always had broad shoulders. They had big ass thick glasses about this big Angela Bauer style. For those who love what I'm referring to is from uh, Who's the Boss, that show, Who's the Boss. Angela Bauer had these big-ass freaking glasses and big 80s hair. I don't understand what the whole faz was with that. Like, was it a fashion yeah. statement or what was going on with that? That's a very good <laughs> That's a very good point, John. He said, no, Tina Turner had great hair, too. <laughs> oh, Tina Turner? Yes. Well, maybe she did. And, and as for the shoulder pads? Day of a radical brother in law says fake shoulder pads. Fake shoulder But why did they do it? Like, why did they do because it? Because back then, all the jackets had those damn padded shoulder pads. I know, pads. And, and it made them so masculine. And I'm I not used to rip, I used to rip my, okay. I'm not understanding why. I, listen, if you take a look at my shoulder pads now, if you look at me from the back, I have a very large set of shoulders. And I still tell my mom, I think she was trying to have a bunch of football players because all the girls in the family, we all have broad shoulders. And there ain't no fake shoulder pads there. <laughs> uh, let's see. Short, uh, short. Uh, man, this damn chat. Yes. Shoulder, shoulder pads, I wore those tops. It was the style. Was the so style was back just then. The, but why, why, though? I don't understand. Why and you, and Radical Brother go. says, <laughs> Rick Ashley, that's why. Rick Ashley? That's why. Rick Ashley. Who's Rick Ashley? I don't know. Ask him. Hey, football is great. It is, Jeff. I used to play tackle football with the boys. Rick I Ashley it. had the suits. Let's look up Rick Ashley. Who's Rick Ashley? Obviously a uh, clones. I don't know what it is, but it's whatever it was started one hell of a trend because it went all the way to like the late 80s. Ha. Steve Menard says the '80s Jim Lee X Men shoulder pads. <laughs> oh, you're you're talking about the guy I'd never yes. never gonna give you yeah. up. Oh, that's all you had to say. I, I listened to that song. I didn't know who you were talking about. <laughs> Mom says she I know was, who he is. Mom says she was too skinny to wear them. <laughs> never gonna give you up. Yeah, I know that song. I listened to that. That's a good song. That was so funny, Ma. You you looked it up, and Loretta said, "Look." No, we're gonna let you down. <laughs> exactly, Clifton. Exactly. <laughs> the eighties Jim Lee and X Men shoulder pads. <laughs> I knew you. Would. Yeah, I can honestly say I didn't like the eighties like fashion for the most part, but anything else eighties, I loved it. I used to rip out shoulder. No, I did like the I did like the well, I don't know what you guys call them, the Converse sneakers, but I called them geeker sneakers. 
That's what we used to call them. But the Converse sneakers from the 80s. And they were they had to be untied. The Geeker sneakers. That's what I call them, the Geeker sneakers. Uh, I used to rip them out. That's so did I, says. I used to rip them out. <laughs> I did too. I could not stand those shoulder pads. I was like, yeah, no. Gotta go. They were too big for me. They were too big in general. Yes, it was, Jeff. It really was like 60s, 70s, 80s, and even the 90s. <laughs> even the 90s right, was pretty good. <laughs> Football pad, same thing. Right, right up to about 97, 98 was pretty good. So, like, I'd say from 1960s to 1998, it was the best decade era. It was like in between those years. If you, if you were raised in those years, Radical, you, you had it pretty good. Radical brother. We had it pretty says, good. Ripped jeans are the only good thing from the eighties. <laughs> and your and sister talking to Amy too too funny about ripping the shoulder braids, shoulder blades out. I used to hate them. Yep, ripped jeans were the only thing in fashion from the eighties. Yeah, that was a thing too in the eighties. Eighties ripped jeans. Yeah. Nineties was brutal though. Nineties was not very kind with style. You had to wear very specific brands in the 90s. It was Adidas or Nike. I didn't Those know. were the leading two brands. And yeah. if you didn't wear that shit, you were in trouble. I didn't. If you were a boy on the playground and you didn't wear that shit, I remember. You know what I wore back, back, back I then? I remember. I used to wear... They were not kind in the 90s. I wore all black and I wore a black and red um, plaid shirt. That yeah. was my colors. The Duchess Arts is all the fluorescent colors. Yeah, LA gear. Yep. Yeah. Do you guys remember? You guys remember the chip and pepper t is, the yes. chip and pepper t-shirts and the and the ones that you breathe on and they change color? Yes. Do you guys remember those? Oh look at that. I go from my pillow. I almost said chip and dale, but chip and pepper. <laughs> not chip and dale. No, no not, chip the, and not, chip the, <laughs> not the not the chipmunks or the male strippers. Chip and dale. <laughs> Chip and Pepper, the two bulldogs that were on the on the front of the t-shirt. <laughs> Radical Brother had one, and I have a picture of him wearing it. Uh, I wore Chicago. Uh, Jeff says I wore Chicago Chicago Bulls <laughs> NBA <laughs> champions clothes so much in the nineties. I didn't care about anything else. That's got right. Yes, I was yeah. goth. Yes, I wore the black. The black eyeliner. I yeah. wore all black. And, and the the sports the the sports was acceptable too. Like you had to like the Chicago Bulls or the Charlotte Hornets because that was a thing in the nineties. Chicago Bulls because of Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen and all them guys. I I was a lot. I wore a lot of those, but I was also a t shirt and jeans girl because I was a tomboy growing up. I'm not afraid to admit it. I love to play football with the boys, and it was uh, tackle football. Dan Barbarian said he wore Pumas. <laughs> I remember those. They're still Pumas are still around. I wore, I wore those Adidas. I'm going to see if I can find them. It was those Adidas sneakers with the big-ass tongue on them. Yes, I remember those. You guys remember those? They were the most uncomfortable freaking sneaker on the planet Earth, and but they were in style, and you had to wear them. Yes. Um, let me see if I can find them. I want to see if I can find them. See if you guys can remember these freaking sneakers. Had a big giant ass tongue on them. Hmm. Probably won't find them. No, probably not. It, it was a very specific style. It was when like Adidas was popular in the earlier nineties. I can't even find them. No, you probably won't. Sneakers. And they were black. You had to have black. There it is. No. No, that's not the right one. No, those are still big, but it wasn't it was they're bigger. not this you know the ones I'm talking about they yeah. the tongue was on the side and it was big. Yeah, it was. No. Probably can't find those now. I can't find them. I don't know why. <clears throat> not sure, but I wish I could find a picture to show you this. But man, they had a big ass tongue on them. 
and they were so uncomfortable. You couldn't even put them on your feet, and you'd be like, I'd be going to school, and I'd be like, why am I putting myself through popular, says, popular torture over these freaking sneakers? Mom says, never see them again. They're history, then sneakers, lol. <laughs> oh, thank the heavens. Ironically enough, though, my favorite sneaker is Adidas, and it yes, is the, they are. and it's the superstar. Oh, here we go. Sneakers, bongo jeans, and no fear, no fear T-shirts. That's just <laughs> all I got to say. Parachute pants, MC freaking hammer, bell bottoms. What were they thinking? <laughs> what were they thinking? No wonder you can't find them. I know, right, Mom? <laughs> uh, we had no sense of fashion <laughs> in the 80s. We had none. We had everything else going for us. We had great ideas, great inventions, great freaking actors, great music, great everything, <laughs> but radical, not clothes. Radical brother, hammer time. <laughs> yep. Adidas and Pumas are practically the, the same. same. Both, Both brands, brands are made, are made by the by same by family, yeah. but different brothers. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, that, that was so funny. Ouch. Oh, there were some good times, though. Great music, indeed. Oh, yeah, well, brother came over today just to bring over a thumb drive and he's like, put some songs on here. What do you want? He'd be naming off the 80s songs. I'm, and, like, I'm like, isn't and, the 80s the best freaking music? And leotards. <laughs> and leotards, yes. It's not leotards. It's it leotards. is. No. Because they're leotarded. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> that is the cat's ass right there. Sledgehammer, LOL. <laughs> Oh man, I love. Do you ever? You guys ever watch that show, Sledgehammer? That <laughs> show was awesome. We have. You never watched Sledgehammer? Look it up. It was a funny show in the eighties. <laughs> you only did two seasons. They're just so funny. I still got the music song stuck in my head. Yeah, leotards. Leotards. They're not leotards. They're leotards. Yeah, leotards. Leo Tardy. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what they are. That's what I always called them. In my mind. Mmm. That was good music, good tunes. What am I gonna do with you? Mm hmm That snow was so funny. Yeah, Sledgehammer and other songs from the eighties, yeah. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, now I'm gonna now I'm gonna have that theme song stuck in my head all night long. Yeah, well, don't trust me, I know what I'm doing. Don't you, you start humming and you sleep and all the pillow over your face. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I wonder what Mike's doing. I don't know. He, did he come in? I didn't see him. Mm. He might be there in the background. He might be in the background. Sometimes she just comes in and just listens while he's doing stuff. Listens in. While he's doing things. All night. All night. All night. All night. Long. Okay, well. <laughs> Have you heard of the show? Of that, I suppose. Have you heard of that show, okay. Sledge? Yeah, because I said, uh, <laughs> you start telling me that tonight, I'll put your pillow, my pillow over your face. He goes, ouch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't hear that part. I did say that. What about the 90s music? 90s music was good, too. It wasn't bad. Um, in comparison of, of the 80s, I think I thought 80s was better, but yeah. 90s had some good stuff, too. It did. Depending on what era you were, you were kind of into. 90s kind of had like this grunge slash metal slash goth slash, you know, type of vibe in the 90s. But honestly, I do like a lot of the 90s country. Best song from the 80s, I submit Billie Jean. Oh, Billie Jean? You like Billie Jean? That was a good song. That was... Uh... I don't think I have a favorite song from the 80s. Oh. I, there's just too many. 
Well, actually, no, that's a lie. Taylor Dane, Tell It to My Heart, is probably my yes, favorite song. Yes, because you sing it all the time. I listen to it all the time, every single day. Yeah, and then I have it on here half the time when you're here. And then when I'm, well, like, when I'm watching, like, uh, or, like, I'm just sitting around and watching TV, I have to watch the, watch the music video. I love the music video with the two dancers in the background, and they're wearing the those uh, ripped up 80s clothes and one you know one black guy one white guy and they're in this they're in the exact same outfit i love it it was a very cool uh very cool uh music video because it's simple it's very effective sometimes less is more right and that's all it was it was just her and the two dancers in the video i loved it mary stepped there for a few minutes what I like country next? classics too. Like I like a lot of the country stuff. Like I like, um, um, oh, what's his name? Ran I like Randy Travis. I like all. I like all the eighties, nineties stuff for that. Yeah, nineties music though. Man, I'm fussy with nineties music because I'm not. I'm not an ACDC fan. I know they're probably the best nineties band ever. Sorry, you're you're that's I I that I everybody will say that and that's perfectly fine. I know they're a good band. I just I'm not really into them and I'm not into Metallica. You know, it's so <laughs> funny because the only thing that you and I really have in common is the toy thing and the cartoon thing. When everything else is just not video games, yeah, and the video games. But as for music, yeah, no, I I like the '80s, but I, I of course I was again like. Dave said I was into goth, so I see. I was me, I was into the grunge scene. I so. was for me it was ACDC and Meta Metallica. For, for me, it was, for me it was Green Day, Nirvana, Hole. Nirvana, I didn't mind. Ramones, uh, I was into the punk scene, so I liked Rancid, um, Ramones, No Effects, the 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 bands that a lot of people don't know about. Jeff says, being a musician, I have I have to like everything. Haha, -ha, I try to. Um, I really liked, um, uh, Offspring. Big on Offspring. Offspring was another guy. Loved Offspring. Oh. Still do. So there was, you know, you know, there was good music in the 90s. Yeah, there was. Oh, yeah, Jeff, you gotta look up Sledgehammer, the show. It's hilarious. I've never seen that. You've never seen Sledgehammer? I don't believe it. Oh, that. my Lord. The name doesn't ring a bell. It is so good. I'm not down. It's one of those hidden gem shows that a lot that a lot of people don't re like, yeah. don't remember. You're going to have to download it. It's, a, it. it's only two seasons, but, man, it was a good show. It was like, um, it was supposed to be like a spoof show of Dirty Harry, but it ended up turning out to be its own kind of thing, and it was really funny. And the guy was the guy was a cop, and he had this big ass gun. I don't even know what the gun was, what type of gun it was, but it was just funny. It was just dr just dry humor, and that's why I, that's why it was so funny. Ooh. We used to laugh at that show. You're moving the Chesterfield. And the '90s, the music starts to come become mainstream. Yeah, it really did. It it really '90s really branched out with different types of music. And then you had, like, the rap scene that was kind of sneaking its way in there, too. Like, there was some rap coming in there in the 90s. It was starting to get a little heavy. And I find now rap has just basically taken over music, and I think it sucks, but that's oh, my opinion. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. He says, you do, you two do such a good job. Thank you for hosting another fun night. Yeah, yeah, thank Alice you. in Chains, Soundgarden, Stone Temple Pilots. Yeah, they were pretty good bands, too. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Alice in Chains was good. Mom says she still watched the Sledgehammer. Alice Records. Cooper. They were good. They were good. What's for dinner? I like Motley Crue. I was big on Motley Crue in the 90s. <laughs> Sled Jeff says I'm making dinner. I'll be right back. Mom says what's for dinner. Yeah, the Sledgehammer's <laughs> good. Thank you, Duchess. What's for dinner? <laughs> We try to be fun. I, I mean, I don't know. But the funny part we is... We try to be fun. But, but the thing is, some people... Okay, and I'm going to be able to just open and say it. Some people may think this is a front for him and I. This is not a front. The way we communicate with each other is how we communicate is, on a this daily is basis. A, this is a normal thing. You us. can ask Radical Sister. You can this. ask Radical Mom. Anybody in here that mm. knows us, this is us on the daily. We pick at each other. We... 
That's just what we do. It's I what guess. we do. It's what we do to have fun. We with try to time. make it fun, though. Just to, you know, that's that's. I kind of like this Friday night hangout where it's we're fun. just we we talk about the toys, but it's more loosely. Yeah. It's not the priority, but it's. There we go. It is in it. Guns isn't. and Roses. There's another one. Yeah, I, I do like Guns and Roses too. Um, like Sweet Child of Mine. Ben Roses. Song. <laughs> uh, my favorite one's probably um, Don't Cry. I like that song. November Rain. Yeah. There, there's some good songs. They got yeah. some good songs too. And You Can Be Mine because of Terminator 2, right? I, right. Love, that, I love that song. So. There's always Weird Al. <laughs> weird Al. <laughs> Of course, Weird Al is the best. My favorite Weird Al song is the freaking eBay song. Yes, we do, Mom. I make fun of the eBay song. I Mom love our eBay. Like I love it. Have fun, which is true. We do. I try to. You have to because the you know the world's so upside down, and you try to make the best of it. And you know, I mean, when we're not doing this, we game together. Um, lately, it's we not, I've been gaming. I've been gaming, and he watches me, or vice versa. He's been gaming, and we watch him. But we also do like the. He brings over his um, switch sometimes, and we play Mario together. We have fun together. It's what we do on a daily like when we're together. Yep, we live in our own bubble. And one of my favorites is Kiss. <laughs> Kiss is a good one too. Kiss is. I, I never got into them, but I I understand the the fame. I think Bill likes Kiss too. Like they're they're the they're, they're fans of, of Kiss out right there. Yes. I I get it. I love Ozzy. Ozzy yeah. Yes. You know what? You know what song I like by Ozzy is Crazy Train. When he was. I like that song. She said when he went solo though. She liked the moment he was just solo. Right. Just having a barbecue low. <laughs> Oh yeah, I can't wait to start barbecuing. I'm just waiting for the weather. Me either, to be because then that means we'll, we'll, we'll be barbecuing by May. That means I won't have to cook. Oh, it's gonna be so good. I don't know. You know, I realized nothing, something. Nothing quite peaceful than being you know in the sunshine barbecue. I realized something. No. Is I'm gonna put in to make sure I get my birthday off, but that's a long weekend. Oh, is it? Yeah. Because the twentieth falls on a Monday. Oh, okay. And it's uh, it's Victoria Day, so it's a long weekend. It's a so, bad holiday. So, what are you trying to tell me here? So, what I'm trying to tell you is that you're going to be here for my birthday. Oh, is that what it's going to be? Yes, it will be. Oh. So what day of the week does it fall it's on? It's on a Monday. It's on a Monday. So okay. It's going to be a long weekend. Well, I guess I have to be here then. Don't yes, I? you will be. No escape. No. Nope. No escape. Not a lot. And you stated for me when the first song you ever sent me, I'm happy to be stuck with you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I love um, uh, another band that I like from the 80s is Huey Lewis. Huey Lewis on the news. I like I like Huey Lewis. Yes, he will. Mom says, yes, Christina, you'll have to relax. I love barbecue. So that means for my birthday, we're going to be barbecuing. Yeah, we're going to be doing that. Uh, let's... That just say yes, crazy train flying high again. Bark at the moon, moon there. Yeah. Yeah, 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 those yeah. are good songs. They were good songs. So there was some good stuff in the nineties. There really was. A lot of people like, and and it was it was really cool too because in the nineties, uh, the fashion went right alongside with it. So you'd have like you'd be in school, there'd be like this goth group, a grunge group, metal group. When is my birthday, group, Duchess? My rapper birthday. group. My birthday is on May 20th. It's on Labor Day. It's yeah. on uh, Victoria's Day here. The Queen's birthday. Another Manic, Manic Monday. Monday. Right. <laughs> Another good one. The big guy is good that at was barbecuing, a good too. Mom said. The big guy is good at barbecue. She's talking about me. Yeah. yeah. It's not hard. I mean, it's, yeah, it's not hard to barbecue, really. I don't think. I don't know. I just... I know. Mean, I mean, easy I used, natural for me. So, I used to do all the barbecuing, so it's gonna be nice to have someone else do it besides me. You you learn as you go. Just slap some stuff on there, and you come up with your own recipes, and it's great. I can't wait to sink my teeth into corn on the cob and some hamburgs and all kinds of nice stuff. Hamburgs. Hamburg. Some people call it hamburg. I know you mean. I'm just gonna say what I mean. Yeah, we know. We know what you mean. Well, you, you mean boss hog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, no, that's that's good. Uh, 
<laughs> How long have we been streaming for? An hour and 34 minutes. There we go, an hour and a half. Jeez, I, I had no idea what we were going to talk about tonight because I, I was half asleep when I, you know what? I was half asleep. With us, it just, it's okay. everything. It goes from toys to music to whatever. It's just. That's it's what I like about basically it Friday. Fridays. Fridays is like an open mic. It's just one yeah, night. it's like an open mic. We'll we'll start with the toy and then we can just talk about whatever. Whatever else. I try to make sure that it does have toys in the in the stream, but you yeah. know, it doesn't have whatever to. the chat wants to talk about. Whatever our people want to talk about, it's what it's. What we can just do. sit here and talk. I can sit here and talk about eighties all, all day long. Thanks, Ma. <laughs> <laughs> all day long. And I, it does, Mom, yes. It does always work out. It does. It works out. I see the hearts flying. Somebody it's must because be... because somebody is doing... somebody this. holding the hearts? No, someone's doing this. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, they're, yeah. Hitting, they're hitting the button. See? I guess. Clicky, clicky, or touchy, touchy. <laughs> Something to do. Uh, I thought... Bert's friend is the name. Ernie, not him. <laughs> not him. <laughs> it's just, no. Not him. <laughs> oh I love Bert and Ernie. Bert They're so great. Good. I love the snuffle up against. My favorite episode from Sesame Street from Bert and Ernie, and you can watch them on YouTube, the skits. Uh, the one where. Uh, Bert and Ernie are trying to, or um, Bert, uh, wait, Bert's trying to go to bed and Ernie keeps saying he's thirsty. Oh God, so yes. Bert has to keep getting up and get him a glass of water. And he says, this is the last time I'm getting up to get you a glass of water. And he's, he's like, oh boys, was I thirsty. <laughs> yeah. That was my favorite episode. That's, that kind of sounds like, that <laughs> sounds like Adam when Adam says, I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> um, swinging back to Nintendo Switch, Switch just, just picked, picked up, up a couple, couple games. games. Anyone else got any? Pickups? I was looking at the. Um, uh, I like that new uh, the oh new the new Princess Peach game. That's it. I want it. What is it called? Princess Peach? No, it's Prince. Know. Oh, it's where she transforms into a bunch of different characters. I can't remember the name of it. Somebody will probably know in the chat. I want that game. I was looking at it at uh, GameStop the other day. <laughs> My pickups. I just picked up Spider Man Two PS Five. Spider Man Two. Yes, this is this great chat. Oh, there goes the kiss. Ha ha. Adam, they were a gay couple. You know that, right? <laughs> That's what everybody says. Yeah, that is what they say about them. Uh, they were, but we didn't think that way. We didn't. We Not didn't, back then. We didn't no. put that politic crap in her. You know, we didn't think that way. We were such a simple time. No politics in our shows. <laughs> Princess Peach Showtime. There, there you go. thank you. Princess Peach Showtime. That's it. Thank you. Yeah, I was looking at that. It's, it's, it looks like a pretty cool Switch game. Oh. But the only problem with it is it's not two players. No, but then we'll just play it. Like I wish do. they would have made it two players. We'll just play it like we do now. When we play, you know what we gotta get? We gotta get uh, the. We gotta get Mario Party. That's what we gotta I know. get. We've been Mario about Party. That. Mario Party would be fun. Yes. I could sit there and play Mario Party. Have a blast with it. Mm -hmm. Uh. Yeah. So cool. I guess uh, that's a wrap. What do you What do you want to do? I think I'm gonna play some video games. <laughs> Your sister says, "No politics to be brought up." Like, no politics. Period. Please, please keep that out of my shows. You're and... not staying up all night playing games this weekend either. No, I'm not. I st I stayed up all night long playing my game. <laughs> yeah, he had to go home on the Sunday, and I was. I was still I was getting up to go to work, get ready for work, and Adam's still out here playing. And I'm like, really? Seriously? Like, I have to get up to go to work in a half hour, and you're still playing the game? Yeah. Yeah. Moto all night. There you go. I'm a night hawk. I am, too, generally, if I don't have to work the next day. Yeah. Oh, okay, can you pass me the box? I'm going to start putting them back, back sure. in. Sure. I want to put them away, because I need to pack them away. Yeah. I can remember how to put it back in there. Oh, God. It starts off with this. 
I do this first. Chopper, my chopper voice. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Ah. Yeah. Why? Uh, okay, it just goes like this. All night long, there you go. It just goes like this. Yeah, that's okay. It doesn't have the twist ties or anything. So. No, it didn't. I gotta put him and in the package because. He, he goes there and then here. What goes in the back? There's something. Oh, it must be this. It's this. It's that, yeah. That goes there. And, and then, then I think that goes on as well. That go over the top of them in the front. Uh, that goes in first. No, the other one. You Doesn't had it go like that? I don't know. You didn't have it in there. You just kind of had it in there. There, I'll just put it in like and that. Don't forget that. And then uh, this one in his hand. I have to pack them because, like, I'm going to be moving and stuff. So I keep my classics in the boxes right now. Except for Cyclone. He's out on the shelf at home. Love that classic Cyclone. I'm enjoying that a little bit too much. I just throw them in there. I can put tape on it some other time. I don't care. He's going to come back out of the package eventually and go back on shelf. Just don't have the room for them right now. Yeah, I have to agree. Grizzler is like Mom probably. He's what's... one of my favorites. Mom asks what's for next week. No idea. We kind of go day by day. I honestly. Yeah, you are next week. Oh, you mean Wednesday? Um. I think you're going 2000 and X Cyclone. Yeah, it's going to say thank you. Yes. We're going to oh, we're going to open up the 2000 and X Cyclone. I'm going to do some live streaming on Sunday. At least that's the plan. Sunday or Monday, probably Sunday. And Friday, well, we don't know yet. And then Friday, I'm not sure. We never know Fridays. We're still we're we're also waiting for extend our information to drop. That should be in, at any time. I'm expecting that any day. I assuming that Extender is the next one we're getting and they don't slip in a Masterverse character in between, so it's hard to say. Kind of like what they did with the last one. Who's, right. the, who's the last one they snuck in on us? And we thought it was going to be Cyclone, but it I was uh, Masterverse. Who's the last Masterverse drop, guys? I can't remember. I don't remember who it was. Oh, Snow's Snow Snow's <laughs> So that's kind of what's that's that's up with so that's up with the, the next week anyway. So we're gonna do the 2000 X Cyclone. That'll be fun. It's been a long time since I opened up a 2000 and X figure. Though, like Mike sent me like a bunch of loose ones, and man, they're so cool. But I have one in the box. And then we got a a um, mystery box coming. Oh, that's right. Oh yeah, we've got. Uh, there's a mystery box that our good boy Manic Plastic Toy Mike he shipped out yesterday. Yesterday. It was yesterday. It's on its way. We got another mystery box coming, and it's going to be probably the best one we've ever had. Uh, well, they're all good. They're all good mystery boxes, but this one's this one's pretty neat. Uh, you guys are gonna you want to stick around. All I can say is if you like wrestling. You're not going to want to miss the mystery box. It probably won't be this Friday. It just depends when it when it arrives. If it shows up before Friday, we'll do it, but I doubt it. It'll probably be the following Friday because it'll be here by then. But you, you guys aren't going to want to miss out on That's going to be a says, fun episode. That's a fun night with, with my favorite Cyclone. Yeah, Cyclone's cool. Who, Mary? Mary likes Cyclone, Jeff. Yeah. Cyclone. Cyclone is her favorite. Yeah. Cyclone. He's definitely top five favorite for me. <laughs> He's in there. Oh, oh here. Thing dropping in. Some YouTuber posted a video. Of Mondo, Mondo talk, 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 talking about Tila. Tila. Talking about Tila. That's cool. Mondo makes some really nice figures. They're, they're really nice. I know. I was just laughing at her spelling. Yeah, the spelling. Yeah, she put this. She put this out in there. I know. It was probably a typo. Hey, she did better than I did because when I said when I used to spell cyclone, I used to put C instead of the K. So she did better than I did. Now I get it spelled right, but at first I wasn't spelling it right. We know you're just poking fun. She's your sidekick. <laughs> you guys are like trouble. I thought you left. I thought you left. <laughs> you got me low. 
<laughs> she she knew how to spell it. She was just checking to see if you could catch it. <laughs> she wanted to know that you knew how to spell it. <laughs> That's how that works. All right, so... Yeah, anyways, I think that's a wrap, guys. We're, we're going to call it a night. It was a lot of fun. Thanks for dropping in. Um, don't forget to, like, we'll do... Like yeah, and we, we, we'll, we'll, we'll make sure we'll make a point to drop into Duchess's, too, on Wednesday, because she still does yes. hers on Wednesday, yes. so... Um, thanks for the super chats tonight, guys. We hit the... We hit over the 25... What was it? 30... $39. We got $39 in super chats tonight, so thank, thank you, guys. Thank you guys very much. It was awesome. Yes. I I have yours set, Duchess, so that way, um, whenever you go, you set a premiere, I always get the notifications. Sometimes I come in and I'm not saying that anything, but usually I come in. Depends right. on if I'm working or not. Thank right. you, Dave. And you're welcome. Yeah, it was a really fun show just talking about this stuff. Did you see the new Master of the Universe that's coming up soon? Half of them are on eBay now. Not sure. What? What is it? What line? You're very welcome, Duchess. I, the only thing that I saw that was new today was the um, ne Necroconda package art. I, I put a YouTube short up on it. That was the, the only thing I had time to check today before I left and came out here. I was lucky to put up a, a one video at least before I left. So I didn't see anything else today. Fridays is like the worst possible day for me to, to do YouTube stuff except for, except for Friday nights. But during the day, Friday's really bad for me. Mom's says we're very interesting well. <laughs> You guys are very interesting, well. Well, we try. It's like, uh, oh, oh my lord, yawning's contagious, right? Yeah, that's one of the you most guys be yawning here in a minute. That's one of the most contagious things in the world. It is. You don't even need to see it, all you gotta do is hear it. Uh, oh man, I wish I had it on this phone. I don't have it on this phone. I had it. I took a, a video of the dog growling. I have it. The dog was trying to, the dog was, uh, the other dog was trying to get my dog's treats and I then she started growling. I can't turn my phone up so we can't listen to it. I know. It was funny. You could, she was showing her teeth and everything. It was really awesome. My dog, like little, little dog, she booked this big. She's vicious. Just vicious. Just to get some sleep well. Yeah, oh, 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 I had my nap. I already had my cat nap. I just need he to get did. some. I just need to get some snacks in me. And we'll play a little bit of video games and relax for the rest of the night. So that's it. That's a wrap. We are done and done. Order trooper. <laughs> and I guess that's it, guys. We'll call it a wrap then. I'm re I'm ready. Can I call it a wrap? Yeah, we'll call it a wrap. That's that's the <laughs> night. I don't know where you're going to go, but you're not staying here. <laughs> it's over, folks. The show's over. Christina's face when you said video games. What did my face do? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, well, I'm going to play. Well, there's a reason why Christina's face looks like that. Because I'm either, either going to play because Mortal Kombat when, or I'm going to play... So, I'm probably going to play Mortal Kombat. So there's a reason, reason why Christina has that face. Is because when Adam decides to play video games, there's nobody else in the room, it seems. You could talk to him sometimes till you're blue in the face. <laughs> and it's a one-sided conversation because it's just like you are not there. It's So usually I'll kind of wander off and go do something else. Yeah. And I'll go into the bedroom and he'll come in the room and go... Same with her when she's playing. Are you going to bed? And I'm like, no, I'm just straightening things up. She'll be playing the game, and I'll be no. talking to her out in the kitchen, and she'll be like, nee, 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 nee. don't hear us hear a single word I'm saying. I hear so. everything you say. I am focusing. You have to focus when you play. You if, do more if, than if you focus. Want, if you want to win. You, when you have someone who's literally sitting next to you, almost I on your lap, I can't just stop what I'm doing and say, okay, what do you want? <laughs> 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 
You gotta focus. Focus, people. Focus. You, you yeah, there's focus, and then they're completing completely forgetting about who's in the room with you. Yeah. <laughs> See, even mom, even mom agrees with me on that one. So shush. <laughs> well, that's it. All right. <laughs> That's a wrap, folks. Show's Thank you over. all for coming. Have a wonderful night. And safe journey. Yeah. Uh, we'll see you guys. Well, I'll probably see some of you Sunday if you drop into the chat. I'll... Anyway, if you guys want to see some He-Man She-Ra stuff, video game stuff, uh, check, stuff. Check, check it out on Sunday. I'll do some streaming. Anyway, until then, uh, we'll see you on the next one, guys. Have a good night and uh, enjoy the weekend. Take care, guys. Have a good one. Night.